Instantaneous. It's continuous. It was instantaneous. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You, you know, tell us where I had to beat very fast. Yes. Huh? Yes. So today you are relieved. Wow. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. I feel light. When you when you touched me, it's just it was a it was a it was a shock. Yeah. It was a shock then once you were you was putting something through me. You know, but instantly once you it no, just no, you, it just disappeared. It just started disappearing. Just disappeared. Yeah. And that and now joy because I came in with I came in with um I wasn't you, that's it. I wasn't sad, but it was a heavy heart. Yeah, heavy heart. Yes. <laughs> God bless you. Guys. Thank you. I have a ticket. Thank you. Thank you. Father. Thank you. Greetings <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. Could you tell us your name, please? My name is Philip Lyle. And where are you from? I'm from the city of Pittsburgh. And what brought you in today? Um, the spirit of delay. Um, the spirit of a, of a heavy heart. Um, the delay in ministry, mm. and that's what brought me here. And what was your experience with both prophet and apostle? When I visited the apostle first, he laid his hands on my chest because he said I have a heavy heart. And he said there was a delay in marriage. And when he laid his hands on me, there was like a jolt of electricity that went through me. Mm. And as I laid down, he started pressing all on my chest. And everything, the, um, the chest pains and everything went away. Wow. Just instantaneously, everything went away. The heavy heart, the chest pains, and and the ra rapid heartbeat. Wow. Yes. Oh my God. And what would you say to anyone um, who's watching this video? Um, oh. I would say that the power of God that works through his apostles and his prophets are real. Amen. Um, when I went to go see the prophet, he also gave me a revelation from start to beginning. Wow. He told me I had a strong calling upon my life as a prophet. Wow. And he said I got discouraged. As I got discouraged, because he even caught out my prayer life as I used to pray for hours and hours and hours and hours. Then I got discouraged, but I went straight into business. So he said I substituted the ministry for business, but he restored both. He considered, he said, you might as well do both. He said, you might as well start your ministry. He said, I'm going to put a calling upon your life. You have to activate it. And he said he wants me to do both. So right now I'm on cloud land. <laughs> I'm a little tingly. <laughs> I'm on cloud land, but I feel so much lighter and I feel relieved. Now, now I can go into the secret place and do exactly what the Lord wants me to do. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. All right.